Greetings everybody, this is Sliced Lime, and today I want to show you flight paths in Minecraft. So if you've played any MMO, like uh, World of Warcraft and Wildstar and uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, they all have flight paths that let you travel fast from one place to another. So I've done the same thing in Minecraft, and to demonstrate this, I've downloaded this map from uh, Planet Minecraft. It's a snow mountain with forest made by a user called King Queen. It's a pretty big map, it's more than 2,000 by 2,000 blocks. So it would take a while to get around, but we have a flight master here. And I can trade this guy, give him an emerald, and he gives me a flight path ticket. So let's get that. And that means I go flying. That's not 100% smooth, but uh, as you can see, we're traveling much, much faster than you would normally do in any kind of transportation in Minecraft. This is much faster than flying in creative while sprinting. But we're following a preset path. And then we land at the endpoint. So this guy is the other end of the flight path, and I can trade with him if I want to go back. But I don't. So let me demonstrate. Uh, you can have several of these. This is another flight master, as evident from his flying. I don't know what that glitch is about. Uh, but if I trade with him, I go flying off in another direction. So you can have multiple flight paths, and depending on which one you trade with, you get sent to a different destination. So this one takes us over to the edge of this forest. And we end up here, and then just for a final little trip around this beautiful map, let's go talk to this guy, and he will send us off. So it's a bit rough around the edges, I still need to do some tweaking, but I just think it's a pretty cool concept that you can have flight paths in Minecraft. And again, I'm not touching the keyboard or anything, not moving a mouse. So it's a pretty convenient way of traveling, and we have traveled quite a few blocks now. It would have taken a very long time to travel this far. And then up, ended up on this shore. So, let me show you how this works when you lay the paths out. So, there's a small command block machine standing around in the spawn chunks in this world now. And you can get a uh, flight path spawn egg from that. This could work in your world, where in, if you have a shop on your server or anything like that, or if you just want to reserve this for an admin or something. But other than that, the whole flight path system will work perfectly in survival as well as in creative. So I right-click with this, and that changes my spawning to an end flight path spawning. And you can see there's a small redstone block here floating, but nothing is really happening. So what this is going to do is trace out my path as I fly along. So let's go flying. And let's maybe go this way. And as we're flying here, it's saving the path that I'm taking. So if I look behind me, you can see that uh, there's a small trace. And the reason that I show this is that sometimes you get lag and uh, you don't want to get too big gaps in this because it will produce a big uh, skip when you're flying through the flight path. And if the, like that, if you see over there, there's a bit of a gap. And if that gap grows to be more than, uh, say, 10 Minecraft blocks or so, uh, it's going to uh, com ooh, completely break the flight path. So if you're traveling along, uh, now it's being uh, much more glitchy than normal for me, because I'm recording, but, uh, and you see you're starting to get uh, big gaps then you should probably take a bit of a breather, let the game catch up. Uh, it, as long as you're standing still, it won't be recording any flight path, so when I start moving again from here, it will uh, keep moving. It's not like when you fly this path, it's not going to take a break here. So let's set it down here on this path. There. And what I do is to just right-click with my spawn egg, and I get back whatever eggs I had before. And you could even do this in survival, and then you will get back as many eggs as you had, minus the one you used up. So now I've made this path, and I can trade with this guy, and go flying backwards. 
It does record your orientation on all the small redstone lock points. So you really want to make sure that you don't spin around too much. And that's why I try to record the flight paths in F5 mode. If you want to download this, there will be a link to a schematic file that you can put in your world. It has a button to start the machine and another button to get a flight path spawning. And then you can just uh, start flying around to put them in your spawn chunks, because uh, otherwise when you fly away they will stop updating, which will cause you to fall from the sky. There will also be a link to the Plant Minecraft project page if you want to stay up to date as uh, I keep building on this. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment field below. And if you like this, please leave a like and share the video, as that helps me spread the word about more awesome inventions in Minecraft. Anyway, happy flying! Thank you for watching, my name is Celeste Lime, and I will see you next time.